So today we will have some fun, we will build a sort of a 303 type bass sound or bass sequence, but with a sort of a bukla mentality to it, I guess. <laughs> Just having some fun. Um, so we will need an um, oscillator, I'm going to use the complex oscillator from Vult, it's called Vesec. We have two oscillators, right? And um, we have FM, sync, uh, folding, shaping, everything we need from a complex oscillator. And for sequencing this, I'm going to use the five, the dual five step sequencer from Nischi, which is um, sort of inspired by the uh, Music Easels uh, sequencer, but we have two of them, right? So we have two five step sequences, which is quite, quite fun. Um, let's start with pitch. I would, want, uh, would like to quantize the sequence. So I'm going to use a quantizer, right? Uh, the CV output will go to the quantizer. I already have it set to a scale. You can choose any scale you uh, wish. Right, this will go to the oscillator. Now, instead of using a Lopez filter, we will use a Lopez gate, which is also one from Nischi. Right, so I'm going to send the oscillator to the Lopez gate, and a Lopez gate basically is a gate, so it will close the sound all the way, but it's a combination of a VCA and the Lopez filter. Um, that has also a decay to it, right? Uh, I'm going to use only the Lopez filter because when you are using only the Lopez filter, in this case, you have also resonance, which is quite important for this type of sound. So if we listen to this for a second, already maybe I can take this octave down. Maybe one oscillator will be an octave down. Oh yeah, maybe a sawtooth change the pulse width a bit, or maybe the, no, that's okay, something like this, now we can fold it, right, shape it, FM it, Ooh. and we can add resonance. Indeed. Okay, so now what we will need something, we need something to open the Lopez gate. We can use just the pulse output from the sequencer. I'm going to use an envelope, a dual envelope from, again, from Nischi, again, inspired by the music easels, I guess, uh, envelopes. Um, right, attack decay envelopes. So let's use the pulse out to trigger one of the envelope. And already I will use, in this case, I will use a clock because maybe I, I would like later to sync this with other voices or if you download the patch, um, you would like to sync this with other voices. So I'm just going to use a, a multiplied clock. Right, and this will go, the envelope will go to the Lopez gate. And we have sound. And again, resonance. Very cool. So let's change the pitches here. Okay, now I know we have folding here on Vesec, but I'm going to add another folder because uh, folding is fun. I'm going to use Chopping Kinky from Befaco. Right, so this will go to Chopping Kinky. Uh, just pay attention that when the uh, wave shapers or folding folders are all the way down, there is no sound. So you need to open at least one of them. Right. Okay, let's use the second uh, sequencer here. I will use four steps. You just click and drag if you want to change the number of steps. So I'm going to use four. I'm going to use the same clock and just for, uh, again, just for making sure everything is nice and in sync, I will reset them. And now I will use, let's say, the CV out to modulate, for example, the folding. So this will go to this uh, modulation router. And now I click the uh, one slot and you see move a control to assign it. I'm going to move the folding, open the attenuverter all the way and let's have some sort of accents. I just need a bit more volume, just a second. Oh yeah, okay. 
right? Right now we have sorts of accents. Without. And with. Right, and since this has four steps and this has five, they are out of phase, so they will meet each other in different places. Oh man, I will add some, a bit of reverb here. I have sand reverb. Oh. <laughs> Right, so this was the folding. I can use the pulse output to trigger the second envelope here and then use it, for example, to modulate, let's say, the, the shaper maybe. Right, but just, let's say, just two steps, right, the first two steps. And now let's say the end of cycle of this envelope can trigger um, can trigger the gate of Vesek, which will then we get an envelope out of here. I can show you this also on the scope if I go out of this here. Let me just go back so I know which modules we need. Um, right, so now we get, because we are getting it, we get an envelope from the fade output, and the fade is basically the decay of the envelope. Right, which is quite an interesting feature. So this we can use, for example, for the sync. Um, okay, I want to add also some glide here and there. So here we have a built-in, right here we have a built-in glide. Right, so what we can do, for example, is I can use... Um, what shall I use? Maybe I can use the fade for this, right? So the fade will go, instead of the sync, it will go to the glide. And now we have some sort of uh, pitch uh, modulation as well, a bit. Oh, yeah. Okay, now, uh, again, in the spirit of Bukla, um, let's add random voltages. Here we have the source of uncertainty a module. Again, from Nischi. Uh, Nischi is a really nice collection to have if you're interested in Surge and Bukla and all sorts of... Uh, uh, interesting things like this. Um, Alright, so I'm going to sync it with our sequence and I will use one for example to modulate. Now we can modulate the sync and we can modulate also the offset as well. This can also be interesting. Um, let's use the second one. Maybe I will use the second sequence. Huh? Second sequence. Right, so now we have movement, we have a nice bass sound. Right, we can also modulate the decay actually, and that will be it. Oh yes. Okay, so this was basically the sound. Again, a short video, just having fun um, for three or three days. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to um, play a bit with this. Cheers.